are truly born again and he fills us as we are hungry and thirsty for his presence and we seek him and we walk in fellowship with him amen so the powerful timely word that pastor brought this morning that i believe is very needed and i pray that will um bless exhort encourage the body of christ is from hebrews 11 14 i'm sorry hebrews 11 7 by faith noah being warned of god of things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house noah a father a husband preacher of righteousness being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, he obeyed what he heard from God. The warnings from the Lord, he moved with fear in obedience. True faith always um, is accompanied by obedience. Amen. All right. He prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is which is by faith all right and the next verse is about abraham by faith abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not know not knowing whither he went and there's many, many more uh, throughout the verses in that scripture, in that book of Hebrews chapter um, 11 that talks about um, the men and women of faith that moved with obedience into the promises of God. So it is with us today. God has been warning, sending countless signs, countless warning dreams and visions through this watchmen, messengers, prophets, prophetess, preachers, teachers, evangelists. And um, you do not even have to be uh, spiritually discerning or born again to see those signs with our natural eyes. Excuse me. <coughs> you know, but um, even the uh, non-believing world is reporting these things and if we study the Word of God we will see that Bible prophecy is being fulfilled the question is what are we doing about it are we preparing ourselves you know for the way of salvation for our family for our household it is the job of every father every parents amen um, and this is why uh, God has given us his word for all scriptures are profitable for teaching correction admonition exhortation reproof and um, every word of God is true and pure and we run to the word of God and he's given us examples of um, men and women of faith that has gone before us and um, to learn through their, their examples of obedience um, before entering into the promised land. So we are also called to uh, believe and obey through living faith. That is backed up by actions, obedience to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I just want to end this video with um, these last scriptures to exhort us with. And it is from uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 34. I'm going to begin reading from verse 34. No, I'm going to start at 33. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Our generation shall not pass till all of the Bible prophecies in the book of Revelation, Daniel, and even Matthew, and the book of the Gospels, um, all these things shall be fulfilled, and it will be fulfilled in our generations. I am confident more than ever. Uh, for one, 
um, it bears witness with my spirit too. God has been warning and giving me dozens and dozens of warning dreams um, since 2004 of the great and terrible, terrible days of the Lord's and all the end times, new world order, um, one world, one religion government under the Antichrist that is being ushering in our very faces. If we have eyes to see, we will see that. And um, so, you know, the judgment that's coming upon the world and uh, and also the transformation of the bride, the transformation of the elect and the rapture of the bride, um, the persecution of the saints and the church in these last days. So all of these things will be fulfilled in our days, in our generation. So God has been giving us endless, countless warnings and we are to prepare ourselves, get our house, our family, our children in order, prepare our ways for the ways of salvation, which is coming to Jesus Christ, repenting and turning from our sins, and following our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, obedience till the end. Amen. Just as um, Noah and Abraham and Jesus himself, who was an example for every heir of salvation, obedience unto death, until death, obedience till the end. Amen. All right. So where am I at? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Only God the Father knows that day. But as the, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The days of Noah were the days of wickedness. Um, where there were much perversion and violence and murders and just evil. And the word of the Lord tells us that God was so sorrowful and he regretted even making mankind. That's how wicked it was. And we are now approaching and living in the days of Noah, just like back then, you know, with the um, all the evil of... Um, and abominations of you know the the same sex marriages that we America as a nation has legalized throughout the land the continual murder of innocent lives murdering God's most precious innocent helpless beautiful creation children infants unborn babies and even the ones that are born that are being murdered much violence, you know, the, the riots, the looting, the murder, the stealing, the evil is great. And it is, the Word of God tells us that um, darkness will engross the earth. So um, for us, the children of God, we know that brighter days, glorious days are ahead for us. Amen. That we put our hope, our faith, our trust in Him. We follow Him because we love Him. Amen. God will deliver us. He will deliver those who love and honor Him, fear Him, obey Him. He will surely deliver all of His righteous ones out of every affliction, as His word promised, as He delivered Noah and his family. All right. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall all the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall, oh, let me stop right here. I just, um, the Lord is bringing to remembrance this dream that he gave me a few weeks ago. And um, I, I shared half of it excuse me but I did not finish sharing the other half because the notes that I printed for that uh, were printed up but um, my husband moved the office and now I can't find those notes so I've not shared it but I've seen so many confirmations a few weeks ago the same time that the Lord gave me this dream uh, and that dream was this that um, there's a flood of judgment tidal waves of judgment coming to the land and in this dream the Lord gave me instructions to tell the people that 
confess your sins, confess and repent, and the Lord will have mercy upon you and the judgments that is coming, the tidal waves of judgment that's coming upon the world will not overtake you and he will show mercy upon those who confess their sins, repent and turn to him. And then the second part of that dream was the tidal waves of glory, God's glory that will come upon the earth, upon the sons and daughters of God. Those that are hungry and thirsty for righteousness who will turn, who will repent from all falsehood, unbelief, idolatry, adultery, addictions, deceptions, and who will not, <clears throat> who will not bow down to um, anything of the world, but choose to be transformed by the renewing of their mind and by the power of the Holy Ghost who will set themselves apart from the corruption, pollution, perversions of the world. The tidal waves of God's glory 